a crucial ocean circulation is showing signs of instability. Its shutdown would have serious impacts on our weather. Its collapse would have dire consequences for our weather and life on Earth. A study, published Thursday in Nature and Climate Change, warned of an almost complete loss of stability of the AMOC over the course of the last century. Researchers say it could be close to a collapse from a strong circulation to a weak circulation, though the threshold for such a collapse is still uncertain. Scientists have warned for years that the circulation is weakening. Heavy rain and melting ice sheets are making the water in the North Atlantic Ocean less salty, which makes it lighter and less likely to sink. If the water in this region becomes too light, the entire circulation could be disrupted. Global weather patterns are critically linked to the circulation and its transport of heat and nutrients around the planet. A collapse of this system would result in significant and abrupt changes, including fast sea level rise, more extreme winters in Western Europe and disruptions to monsoon systems in the tropics. It could also have a cascading effect and destabilize other components of the Earth's climate system, including the Antarctic ice sheet and the Amazon rainforest. This scenario was the premise for the 2004 climate science fiction film The Day After Tomorrow in which a series of extreme weather disasters strike after climate change caused the AMOC to collapse. The circulation is weaker than it has been in around 1,000 years, scientists had previously said, but they did not know whether it had actually been destabilized or undergoing natural changes. This week's study used eight datasets looking at surface temperatures and salinity in the North Atlantic over a period of 150 years, and found global warming was driving the destabilization. Imagine a chair, which can be either shifted or tilted. Both change the position of the chair, but in the first case the stability of the chair won't be affected, while in the latter case there exists a critical point. If we tilt the chair just slightly further, it will fall down. My results suggest that what is happening to the amic is more likely to be a tilting than only a shifting, so the amic has moved toward the critical threshold at which it may collapse," he said. Bors added that he himself was surprised by his findings that the amic had been destabilized and was moving toward its critical threshold, at which it could abruptly collapse. A collapse of the circulation would mean significant cooling in Europe, Beers said, but maybe more concerning is the effect of an amic collapse on the tropical monsoon systems of South America, Western Africa, and India especially in Western Africa, an amid collapse could lead to permanent drought conditions. Bors recognizes in his study that he and other scientists still don't know if and when the current might collapse, but he called on the world to reduce greenhouse gas emissions as much and as quickly as possible. Every gram of extra greenhouse gas in the atmosphere will increase to the probability of an amid collapse in the future, so emitting as little as possible, both on individual but of course also on collective and international level, is the key. The study comes ahead of a major report by the UN's International Panel on Climate Change on Monday, which has been years in the making and is expected to provide the most conclusive look yet at the extent of human-made climate change. It will also likely paint a picture of what the future could look like, depending on what action the world takes to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.